Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Now I'm going to try to bring out some truth here about God, who is our exceeding great reward, the great I Am, the self-existing one. Not this messed up mad scientist that's what I'm going to title something along those lines. i got to work it out still yet. They, the, they preach and teach this stuff. Ooh, yuck. They teach us blasphemous stuff that God is the most villainous of all villains, but he loves you. Is that not double-minded? It doesn't even make a lick of sense if you break it down, dissect it, lay it out there, and dock your minds of it. There's something wrong. Huh? He's going to torment not over 90-some percent of everyone in some hell that's way beyond anything Hitler or any pedophile, that BTK killer, and bind them, torture them, kill them. All these messed up, the worst messed up you can get. They're saying God's going to do this to 90-some percent of them and only... Deliver a few. That's not omniscient. God knows everything. That's not omnipresent. God's everywhere at once. That's not omnipotent. He's all powerful. And that's not sovereign. God's in control of all of it. Because they don't understand God. They're in darkness. They're believing their own darkness thinking. And they're preaching this stuff. God's messed up. They've been doing it. Yeah, you tell them. Amen, brother. Well, they signed on the or, or agreed emphatically in hot pursuit, and they're signing on that contract. The God's going to torment 90 some percent of everybody and never give them no chance at all in the worst possible torture they can, you could possibly ever imagine. Forever and ever and ever, never ending. But he loves you. And that love is, he loves you beyond the mere description of words. Huh? No chance of coming back, that child coming back and giving you that kind of love. That's what, that's the carnal mind. That's directly opposed to you going to, towards, and into God. Ice. E-Y-S. E-I-S, I mean. <laughs> Ice. Blah, blah, blah. Huh? God's righteousness. God's love. is teaching and preaching that way. They're buying into it. They, they're hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. <coughs> yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me think up some more stuff. <laughs> they can be as sincere as they want to be. Doesn't necessarily mean they're they're a bad person, but they're sincerely wrong, or that they're insincere. Some of them maybe. That's where a paroptima comes in, an intentional or unintentional side slip or error. Hamartia is they're trying to hit the mark of God, trying to hit the will of God, understand God, but they're missing the mark. Hmm. God took care of all of it because we couldn't. I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably <laughs> touch a little on that in John chapter, 1 John chapter 4. Okay, I'm still not, I'm still going to get back to John chapter 4, the Apostle John. I mean, I'm working in that, but I've got to take care of some other things first, a little bit. I don't want to get bogged down too much in that, but I got to take care of some of this. God's telling me. Okay. This is to get down to the brass tacks, the truth about it, and quit this foolishness and all this stuff and blaspheming God and saying this is the gospel. Gospel means good news. What kind of good news is it? God, the most powerful of everything, it's messed up, and there's some devil thing out here, really about to whip his butt. Better take sides.
that adversary, your carnal mind. That's Diabolos and Satanus. That's your false accuser and your lollipop giver, as I put it. Trying to tell you a good thing is this imposter of light, imposter of God's enlightenment. It ain't enlightening you for nothing. And it's a good way. Good thing and a bad thing. It's you're eating from your own tree of knowledge of good and evil. On the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. You'll be separated from God. To be carnally minded is what? Death. Think about these things. Don't just be blinders on and let this old alpha dog, your own carnal mind, lead you around and tell you, Man, you better look out there. You better be very afraid. You know, the begin fear is the beginning of all understanding. God's put this in there so you can not, he's made it to where you got to trust him. You got to go through his way, his righteousness, his way of doing things. Change the way you think. That way you um, experience it. Not just, ex you go through the whole, like, uh, tribunal, if you will. So to experience it, and you'll not forget that. Because then that becomes your good news, your gospel. Not this God is going to throw you in some torment. What kind of mad, messed up, mad, well, Crazy, foaming at the mouth way of thinking is that. Okay? They're, they're saying that God is worse, more villainous. That word villainous means having a cruel, malicious, wicked nature and character. That's God's name. Anima or shame. Huh? His heaven. Uh, huh? They're saying God is, wouldn't that be what your carnal mind is directly opposed? So you're going two towards an end to God being that and, that chi, copulating and cumulative, back in little steps, back into the right mindedness of God and getting it burned out of you. There's two in your earth. It's a squatting king. And it's on top in the superior position in most people's mind, in most of your thinking, most of my thinking. But little by little, and more of this are you living in, existing in this land of ghosts. You're coming back to the right mindedness of God, the love of God. The more of this stuff is affecting them, burning up, getting burned up. God is a consuming fire, a refiner's fire. This fire's good. This pressure, thalipsis, this pressures, calamities, tribulations, is to get so you can get rid of this stuff. So you've got a chance to agree with God. That little bit of pressure, and you get out of that, and you get to experience it. Oh my goodness, Father God. And it's pyre, or poor, I mean, P Y R. Looks like pyre, pyre, because they, they got even, they get the word, I think, pyromaniac from that. But it's pronounced poor, P-O-O-R. Hmm? It's spelled P-Y-R. It's fire. It's for purification. It's divine purification. What's the Holy Spirit? Holy, sanctifying, purifying in that fire. The Spirit of God. Holy, sanctifying, purifying Spirit. And it's baptizing you, totally submerging you, immersing you. In that bitter vinegar solution. Changing your thought processes from a pickle thinking to a cucumber. That can't be changed back. Little by little by little. Little bitty spots by little bitty spots. Like a 1E to negative 35 thought process size spots. Spiritually speaking. Blowing up one thought to like out, like size from Earth to Alpha Centauri. 4.3 light years. Remember that? Oh my goodness. And there's like one point, or uh, one times 10 to the 18th power. One with 18 zeros after it. Of those little spots. God's transforming it. One, uh, double and each time when you agree emphatically in hot pursuit and qualify with God. You know me. Hmm? You're negating that old stuff and it's qualifying you in God. 
got us for one given increase. And you go from 1 to 2 to 4, 8 to 16, 32, 6, 4, 128. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> huh? That's one thought process. You got many of them. Now, whatever's in this of God, God's true character, nature, character, authority, that you're worshiping the true worshiper shall worship God in spirit and in truth. No longer in this doo-doo, don't-don't of this Jebusite. Natural Jerusalem type stuff. Ooh, poo-poo in your... That poo-poo's getting burned out. God's bringing you up to his superior way of thinking. Getting you out of this thought processes of God is a messed up mad scientist and he's more villainous than anything. You better fear him because he loves you but he hates. Beyond belief, he hates. Because he's going to torment you. Even in the natural, if you was going to scrap something, he wrote it on paper and all that went right there, swatted it up, throw it away in the trash. Get rid of it. Not just taking, you can't get rid of the energy anyways. That's similar like the spirit of God. You got to get rid of this, let God burn up this carnal thinking and transform it into his righteousness and compact it down through all this ellipsis, this pressures and this fire is burning it up, purifying don't don't quit this nonsense to believe in God's like a BTK killer. Of all BTK killers. Or he's like worse than Hitler. Hitler was nothing. He's a pup. He's worse than a pup. He's a nothing. He can't do nothing. He thinks he tormented. Wait till they see what God's going to do to you. Therefore, you better pay me all your money and... Is that not retard? This oh yuck, blasphemous. That's not God's Holy Spirit, and it's baptizing you. Um, you're being baptized in the Holy Spirit and copulating, accumulating fire, purification. There's two in your earth. He's getting rid of this crap thinking. Burn it up. Leave it himself, his spirit in there. So when this earth suit dies, whatever amount of this green way, God's way, God's love is in there, that goes back to the Father who gave it. This natural, orderly thing, that's up, that's just Father knows. Only the Father knows when that's in the stuff. All this other stuff, they make all these scary movies and all this stuff and paint God out to be a villain. Sadly, I watched one yesterday, and it, oh, I'm not going to say the name of it, but it was just like crazy messed out. Ooh, it was labeled horror and drama. It's supposed to be about the four, hug, four horsemen of the, oh my goodness. Weather forecasting. <laughs> dumb idiots. Sorry, they're dumb in Christ. They're not speaking the love of God. They're speaking fear, damnation, condemnation. If you got any discernment at all on God, you'll know that's not right. How can that be? God is your exceeding great reward. The I am, the great I am, the self-existing one. Hmm? How can that be? God is love. And that's the love beyond the mere scripture and words. And he's bringing you back to that state to where you can love as he loves. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Just green light. Agree with him. Be reasonable. See it my way, my child. I'll bring you out of this carnal state to where you might do all kinds of crazy stuff like a Hitler or a, or a BTK killer. Or a liar, thief, robber. It's all. That carnal mind. Like in John 10, 10. Um, the thief comes on. It's a robber, a thief. It can't. Oh, I lost the, the quote. Let me get it here real quick. If this will pull it up, okay. Hang on, man. I just got tongue tied. <laughs> Actually, you can go one through ten, okay. 
I'm going to read it just how the king changed. Yeah, the king changed to be good enough. The thief cometh not, but to kill, but for to kill and to uh, still and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life. It's not might have, but they possess it. In your mind, God's given you that ability to love Him as He first loved you, child. Huh? And that they might have, not may may have, might have again. It's just to possess it more abundantly. Let's read that in the New King James. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to and to destroy. I, God, have come to make His appearance in you, that they not may have. They have it. They possess it. Life. That they not may have that they have it. They possess it. It more abundantly. I can break that down more, but I'll have to, I'd have to do a recording, a few, maybe a couple, two or three recordings to do that adequately for me. First, and then for you. I have done that. But I don't have it on video. Okay, don't believe that lying alpha dog, that thief, that robber, your own carnal mind, not some devil out here. It's your carnal mind. You're trusting your own tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's all bullshit. It'll twist it, make you believe that God's going to throw 90 some percent in this torment forever and ever and ever. No, now you will, don't be, don't, God is not mocked. Man, mankind, humanistic thinking, they'll reap what they sow. You don't, you sow to this flesh and thinking, you're not going to increase one iota into God's righteousness, into God's love. Because God gives the increase. You're going to stay in this like seed form. Knowing nothing. Hmm. Being totally ignorant. But God, fortunately, Huh? In his greatness. To put seeds. His love, his child down inside you. In your garden. In your mind. That you know nothing about. Hmm? He loves you beyond the mere description of words. You're not even germinated yet. You're not even a breath off shit. Huh? You're not even like the sperm and the egg. Huh? In the natural. Hmm? The lowest of low. But it's in there. It's, it's also the greatest thing you got. Come on up higher. Come God's spirit way. Let him give you that rechimed ability to love him as he first loved you. Quit being this stupid stuff. Come on, shake loose if God permit. You go on beyond this rudimentary elementary stuff. Thinking, I gotta do it, and I gotta save myself. Somebody else will save me. God's your savior. Come on, man. Quit this dumbass donkey stuff. Quit believing that daggone dummy. That mute thing. Quit calling God a monster. This villainous. Quit taking the name of God, the anima, and shame in the Old Testament. The nature, character, and authority, and calling it villainous. Villainous means having a cruel, malicious, meaning to do harm, wicked nature and character. That'd be like the name, right? Stamp of approval. The stamp of approval of this dude here is villainous. God's a villain, stamp of approval. But he really loves you. <laughs> like they're going to believe that. <laughs> He's a monster. Yeah, he messed up. <laughs> That's your own stinking thinking. Now we'll do another good one. It's a fit monster outside you doing it. And it's taking a shank. Red shanker. In your head. Oh, oh, oh. God's fortunately bringing some calamities. 
pressures earthquaking in your mind to bring this revelation like the like apostle paul in the isle of patmos my killing you must die to yourself i must decrease and he must increase that ego must go down must go down and be burned up and he must increase and there's 22 chapters in the book of revelation one revelation and it's the revelation of jesus christ within not some book of end time weather forecasting stuff the doom and gloom and god hates you and he's a villain how stupid is that wake up you sleepers come out of baby land babylon religious confusion man-made traditional 666 thinking in your mind and in your take that little rock christ Boom! Take off the uh, your own armor, your own defensive, self-preservation stuff, alpha dog stuff. It's not the alpha guy. That's you being trying to be the co-pilot. I'll do it because I'm kidding for dog pup. Or, well, I'm a whip pup. I'm a no good dirty, huh? No, a child of God. Act like it. Be like it. Use the name of God. Quit using this other name. It's called God a villainous monster. He's messed up. He's really not omniscient. He doesn't know everything. Huh? He's really not omnipresent. He's not here all the time. He can't really see. You know what I'm doing. You know what I'm thinking. Huh? He knows it much better than you do. He subjected you to this stuff so he can bring you out of it. As you agree with him, come out of it, and oh my goodness, it's glorious. Wow. And you're really, you come into it from his faith to the love of God, real love of God. Knowing, oh my goodness, you love me, be on the mere description of word, I love you too, daddy. Come from this hope, well, I hope it's right. I'm playing hope chess here, man, if they just don't see it. To confidence. Confidence, confidence, you're growing. I'm a growing on up. Boom, the pop, ba. Right? Coming out of this state of the. I love you too. Now let me cower down and that gonna burn up all them other people doing stuff that just is offensive to me. Don't you think God can take care of it? Hmm? All this stuff works together for good to them that love God, to those who are the call according to his purpose. Right? Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and go right on in the chapter. Wow. I'm going to show a little bit in John chapter 4. Why do, we, why, why do we love God? Because we fear him. Yeah, we fear him because he's a monster. And he's more villainous. Got this name. Nature, character, and approval that's wicked and malicious and, uh, it's cruel beyond belief to 97%, so we better fear him and get in this less than 10% or we're just going to doom and gloom forever. We're on a highway to hell. That's stupid. That's called God a liar. Blasphemous. God, you're villainous, but you really love us. Double-minded. Speaking out of both ends of their mouth. No wonder you can't understand them. They don't know how to speak the love of God in the tongues of God. No, flip the script on that. God is the greatest. God loves us beyond the mere description of words. We love him because he first loved us. The great I am, the self-existing one. Hmm? Is our exceeding great reward. Quit buying into this lying alpha dog bullcrap that comes only to that thief, that robber, your call of mind that comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. The life of God, the fullness of life of God, that Zoe life. It's, it's coming to bring you down and do a chin up, bop, bop, keep you down under the stairs. 
under that toilet seat down in the cesspool of your carnal mind, right? Be one way of putting it. Here, have another drop of dog. Can we get down in there? Blow, blow. Here, let's make, let's be like a bunny rabbit and make more of those thought processes. Just have all kinds of sex, intimate acts in your mind. With all your stinking think, I mean, um, all this delicious chop of dogs. There's all kinds of food down in here, and you're down in the toilet, down in the cesspool. Oh my goodness, what a stuck guy. Oh! Like what God's doing. His anger, his anger and wrath, his passion and desire to bring you back. Come on, man. Agree with me. Be reasonable. Sit my way and I'll chop and stuff out. I'll skim out for you. I love you. Come on back to me. Come on home, prodigal son. Get out of that, says fool. Quickly, man. Here, I'll wash off. I'll take a spray hose. <laughs> All kinds of pressure in that with a, imagine, like a big water hose, a big old fire hose over there to spray it. <laughs> right in the head. Ugh. Knock you down something, but it's to clean you up. Takes a lot of pressure. Fire trials, tribulations, calamities, and all this stuff. A lot of decision making to coming back God's way and not this red way. Hmm. See how messed up that stuff is? Huh? Be careful where you're eating, where you're partaking of, where you're thinking in your mind. That's where God's working. Not this external stuff. God, the, the kingdom of God doesn't come with outward observation. Just polished outside your cup like an old Pharisee. Hmm? Mm -mm. Hmm? Interpret it correctly, okay? I am going to start this one. <laughs> I've only got uh, just a few minutes here, okay? Well, I don't know. Maybe not yet. I'm going to do it. I have to do another part. Getting that because I got an hour left here. Man, it just keeps piling on there. Man, show me this, 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 this. And I got to get it a little bit better. Oh my goodness, it's like trying not to get overwhelmed. It's been coming on, coming to me for years, years, years. No wonder when I woke up from a coma and I was like, boo, 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 trying to tell them something, the greatest thing ever. God loves us beyond the bitter description of words. And I couldn't even set up. Couldn't even make my legs twitch. Couldn't do nothing. I, I, my body was in shambles. Tell me I was going to die, die, die. Doctors couldn't really do nothing a whole lot about it. They said, man, there ain't nothing else we can do. We put him in all this ice and he's just going to die. This after many other times. About having to give up on me. But they didn't. Hmm? The main chief surgeon on that said, man, it's beyond me. And he's the one who put all this in, took care of my hips and legs and a lot of the uh, orthopedic surgeon. When I come into his office in a wheelchair, I remember this spot time specifically. And I mean, I was so bloopy and stuff. <laughs> they wheeled me into the his office, there's a big bunch of people in there. And I was waiting there just a little bit. And all of a sudden I heard my doctor, one of them, okay? I heard that doctor come in there. Says, Lloyd Toppin showed up yet. Said, uh, let me see the, the reception. Said, yeah, he's sitting out there and they got him out there. And people fill me in. Got him out there right now. He said, he, he, man, he reprimanded her. What? What? You don't, when he comes in, you don't make him wait. And he come out and got me. The doctor did. Wheeled me in and showed me off. Wheeled me to every other physician in there. Say, man, this is the guy right here. It's, oh, blah, blah. And he carried, hmm? Just tell my parents and stuff, man. I don't. Th this stuff was beyond me. It made it. And that was just bare starting. 
But now, doctors can't real don't really know. They couldn't really figure out some stuff, but say, oh well, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't do this, but it does. Already had to lay down with the stuff, doing this stuff once today. Been up since about four. It's now it's two almost two thirty. Two thirty. Don't matter. I got to do this job. Everything else has to be mm -mm, put on hold, or I'm going to get lambasted. I got to obey God. I don't to whom much is given, much is required. God's given me a lot. I'm going to say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I want my bags full as much as I can get of your love. This natural, physical stuff don't mean shit. It's poop. Scat. Animal excrement. Dung. Any way you want to say it, it's poop. To win in Christ. To get in the right stamp from God. Not getting that stamp. God's a villain. <coughs> but he loves you. <coughs> That's keeping you in this squatter realm. That king has got to hit the road, you Jacob, you trickster, you use car sales when you're a politician, you dirty god, ah! illegitimate child of God, you bastard. Bam! Get out of here. Let God bring you up. A little illegitimate child of the speed of illegitimate of God. Ooh, burn it up. It's only useful for fuel to bring you up higher 